38-day streak with Baron. Already 172 flames with Luisa, and with your crush from last week, at least 11. Since Sam slid into your DMs last week, you've been sending pictures to each other daily. Cute, isn't it? But what if your crush isn't a real person at all? What if this cutie was created with AI, and Cupid isn't aiming for your heart at all, but something entirely different? Not so unlikely. There are more and more fake profiles online. Behind them often lurk scammers who use sweet, innocent faces like this one trying to gain your trust in order to bam, get access to your data. This is called phishing. Ever fallen for it? You are not alone. A study from the US has even shown that Gen Z is three times more likely to fall for online scams than the boomer generation. Wow. Back to your crush. While you're sending selfies every day, pictures of your room, or even spicy content to keep your streak going, someone is finding out quite a lot of private stuff about you. So, what if there's a scammer behind your crush's profile? You would have recognised that, right? Maybe. But maybe not. Because artificial intelligence makes creating fake identities very easy, and the results look incredibly credible. Perpetrators use all this private information for cyberbullying, identity theft, or even blackmailing. It occurs more often than you think, and can even happen to the best of us. At some point, you may have revealed your full name, date of birth, or phone number. The other person seemed pretty charming and ka ching. This type of information may be enough for scammers to shop online and make you pay for it. But how exactly does AI help cybercriminals? AI can handle large amounts of data in a very short time, and is much more efficient than humans. It can browse, decrypt, and combine large sets of data at the same time. This makes AI the perfect accomplice for online scammers. AI software can not only create fake photos, but also fake videos. I'm Rob, clicks I host, which makes me look unrealistically handsome. Or really attractive voices. Catfishing, but make it AI. AI poses new challenges for data protection. Experts say that we are walking a tightrope between the threat of losing control over our data on the one hand and the countless advantages of AI on the other hand. Because at the same time, AI is also, plot twist, one of the best friends of data security. What now? Is AI good or bad? It's neither. AI can be a curse and a blessing. If AI leads us to live like in a Black Mirror episode or in the AI paradise, depends entirely on our usage of it. Artificial intelligence imitates human patterns of learning and thinking. It can solve problems independently by continuously gathering new data and deploying the information from it. It is also programmed in a way that it can self-improve its programming. This makes AI incredibly useful for data security. AI can independently assess if an email should be put into the spam folder or hide an inappropriate message on social media platforms without the need for human intervention. AI can raise the alarm if someone tries to log into your online banking account at an unusual place or time, and therefore blocks potential perpetrators from doing so. It protects large data networks of corporations, banks or governments against cyber attacks, which is just one example of potential AI usage. So, AI can be a curse and a blessing for data security. Are you wondering what you can do to avoid becoming a victim of AI scams and hackers? Currently, there's no ideal solution to the problem. Artificial intelligence is developing at light speed. Our future will be strongly shaped by it. AI will support us in many areas. But there will likely always be people who have malicious intent. Educate yourself about the applications you use and carefully choose what data you share and where, especially when it comes to personal information. And your crush? This time you got lucky. Your crush is real, so you can ask for a date. How? Your friends probably know better than AI.